Hello, my dear students and pupils also. Your teacher, Hat for Words, is back with another lesson. In my previous video, I asked you all to vote for me as Wired Magazine's sexiest kid of last year, if you felt I deserve it, which you can still do so by clicking on the link on the right. So if you haven't done so yet, why don't you go ahead and do so right now? The link is on the right. You did it? Great! I love you for that. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Anyway, Wired Magazine wrote that gigs are not just computer nerds. They're dedicated to the point of being obsessed. So smart, they scare you. And you know, it's true because when you think of a gig, um, it's usually someone who is really smart but may not have the best social skills, if you know what I mean. So, Wow Daddy 3, Bruce177, Michael, and Night and Pussy wanted to know the origin of the word gig. So, being a gig myself, hot for words, decided to investigate. Gig originally comes from the word gag in the 1500s, from the Lower German and related to the Middle Dutch gag which meant a simpleton or one who is easily deceived, somewhat of a fool. So the word started out referring to fool basically, and even Shakespeare used the word uh, though he spelled it like gig in a possible transcription error. The word continued to refer to a foolish or worthless person for the next few hundred years until it was brought to the United States and appeared in a comic strip, ultimately known as Matt and Jeff, in that strip they referred to Gig, who spent his spare time making Tsar removers, whatever those are. So that was the beginning of the word referring to people diligently doing something. Eventually, around 1957, it started to refer to students who were overly diligent in their studies. By the time computers appeared in the 80s and the amount of time computer programmers spent on their computers, they started to be referred to as geeks as well. But due to the intelligent nature of what they were doing, the word no longer referred to fool, but rather to smart person. But it still retained a bit of original negative connotation. So geeks started out meaning a fool, then referred to diligent students and eventually referring to very smart, though somewhat nerdy person. There you go, another mystery solved by your nerdy hat for words. Now for your homework, I'd like to know if you'd like to be referred to as a git or the opposite of a git. In fact, what is the opposite of a gig? If you know the answer, please write them in the comments below. Also, I would like you to rate my video 